uh, that are sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> Which part? <laughs> <laughs> Partially true. What? So if it wasn't weird, I would probably get a stitch tattoo. Oh, you relate with him on that level? Yes. I'm fluffy. Okay, so it's Winnie the Pooh. We don't get no whoa, 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 whoa. Winnie the Pooh don't wear pants. Neither does the Stitch wear pants? He wears an orange jumpsuit. Oh, God. The boy don't wear pants. Oh, are we? Oh, we're on TV here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not like live, live, but. It ain't live, live. It's live. Oh. I got a hangnail. It hurt my feet. Just look. You think anybody, you think 9 o'clock is a good spot for us? Because I feel like nobody be up. 9 o'clock? Yeah. See, here's the thing what's crazy. Our spot is so weird because NXT is going on while we're on. But you don't want to do, because we don't want to do a post-show NXT. I mean, we could. Oh, I don't know. Too late now. I like us, but yeah, we do. What? What? Are we seasonal? I thought we were a year. Well, that I mean, think that is kind of a the question. I thought I told you that next time. The Woo Show is live, unless we get canceled. <laughs> Due to the powers that be, See, we I'm might close. be the motherfuckers that's on the chopping block. <laughs> I just go on Facebook Live at the crib. Be like, so. I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna be popping up. Like, yeah, you you guys know why we're here. I don't think we on chopping block though. We do a good job. Ever seen, and then I didn't reply. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, oh shit!" Like now he, thinks. yeah. I was like, "I hope somebody read that," because I, like, but it was I, like this long of a message. I'm like, yeah. I was like, I, I hope somebody read that, because that that's not relating to no. That ain't no Wu Show property. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't want to be a part of that, man. I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. No, I won't do it. I won't. Hilarious. Oh, you guys are on. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead. To the guy that sent that long message, I apologize <laughs> that we left you on scene. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> she did it. Not me. I can't. Hey! What? Oh, you gonna do it? No, no, go do no, your thing. Go, no, you weren't were here last week, so you gotta do it. I know, I'm back. Hi. Who, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm T Shack Talks, and I, this is. Okay, Tone. And welcome to the Woo Show, your weekly go through of everything combat sports and MMA and especially wrestling and today we're here for the number one WWE show NXT 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 we the five go follow us that too that, yeah we need followers as y'all may have heard we was talking so yes, NXT, the best, the best show that it, uh, WWE has going right now. Um, I will gladly give them my ten dollars. Gladly. I gave them ninety nine cent for three months. Wait, I missed that deal. Yeah, you missed that deal. Um, I waited till my stuff canceled, and they was like, "We want you back." Ninety nine cent for three months. Thank you, WWE. So wait till it cancels. 
I really thought I was doing <laughs> something, and now we know. But you know, we we, we gotta oh, we'll work it out. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, cut the camera. Cut the camera. Uh, no, nah, don't cut the camera. So, yo, uh, you, I remember like a few weeks ago you said we don't talk about NXT enough. We and, don't. And you know, it's honestly hard for because we are very critical of w, our WWE segments. Wouldn't you agree, uh, Ashy? First and foremost, I would like to send a most stupendous shout out to my baby brother, Cody Rhodes, for keeping the family legacy alive, brothers and sisters. It is me, the illegitimate African-American dream, Ashley Rhodes, here to talk all things Wusho with the hostess, with the mostest, baby, Hoke Tones and T-Shack Talks. But anyways, I'm going to talk about my little brother, Cody Rhodes. He puts hard times on all those indie wrestling promotions. He's just the son of a funky WWE, NWA, WCW wrestler, baby. <laughs> For those that don't know, my daddy is Dusty Rhodes and my mother is Sapphire, baby. They laid down one beautiful, okay, okay. sultry okay. even, okay. and they Thank, made thanks, me Ashy. Thanks, Ashy. Ashy Rose, Thank brother. Right. Thanks, Ashy. Um, um yeah. yeah. But it was a yes or no question, Ashy. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Only in South America. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we're very critical of WWE, mainly because we, we hate the booking. And uh, we've had a lot of conversations, and all our com. So let 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 let's talk. So you guys know our segment. We do good, bad, and ugly every time with WWE. Fuck it, we tried to come up with a good, bad, ugly this week. It was good, great, and perfect. Because <laughs> NXT is doing their thing. I don't know if it's Triple H, Regal, whomever is is running the whole thing. They're doing it. There, it, it, and it doesn't get boring. Uh, we we was talking long standing rivalries. Uh, right now we got the Gargano Champa's thing still going on, and yet we're we're not tired of it. Not at all. We're not tired of it, and it it is so rare in the in the wrestle in wrestling world, uh, especially in WWE. We see these recycled matches every week. And we're like, okay, nothing changed about it. Not, it's the same thing. Let's add a steel cage. And it, it's the same thing. It's, it's, yes. Yeah, let's, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. And uh, a lot of these long-standing rivalries is just so fucking bad. We get so tired of WWE. And that's why we wanted to do a show to talk NXT and how much we appreciate not only your writing staff, because the writing staff is great. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, you got to do it double time now. Um, shout out to Matt. <laughs> uh, we appreciate the wrestlers themselves, because listen, uh, Velveteen Dream for President 2020, baby. Velveteen dream for president. That's all I got to say. President of everything. Mm -hmm. Wait, so you're, you're talking Velveteen and you didn't pull graphic for Velveteen? Like, no? Okay. I, I was just saying. Oh, you were just saying? I was just saying. So this um, is you guys' banter segment? Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> my apologies. We're getting chewed out. No, 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 no. You're not getting chewed out. I was just questioning because I didn't want to make, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't mess up. Oh, no. No, you did. You're good, sir. Okay. Um, the wrestlers. Um, back to the wrestlers. Um, uh, and T Shack, you who uh the commentators. Yes, yes. Mar I always mess up his name. Mark. Mar Mario. Mario. It Mario. Who? Mario. I always mess it up. You gonna He's one of my faves though, and I always tear he, up his he name. He used to be on SmackDown. He had NXT now because he knew. said uh, JBL was giving him the blues. Like, JBL is yeah, known for get it. yeah. JBL is known for giving people the blues. Though. Yeah. Um, and the guy Percy. Um, 
Yo. Oh yeah, I like him too. Yeah. And it they don't seem like a over listen. Michael Cole is horrible. <laughs> Corey Graves is Michael Cole is a legend though. He is. No, let's I, not I don't like what he's doing now. Like I I, I, I don't I, like, I don't. Like he used to just be a color guy. No, he used to be play by play. Now he's like turning to this heel. Yeah, it's, jerk. I don't, I'm not. I'm not liking what they're doing. Like and you and you know what? Remember when uh, Jr. used to do the stuff like that, and somebody would jump out the ring and go fuck with Jr. Yeah, like that's what I want. VP of content is speaking of chewing you guys out. VP of content. <laughs> On Facebook, uh, Mr. Rafael Antonio Martinez. He decided on, to he, he decided to chime in and uh, Mario uh, Ronaldo. Yeah, Ronaldo. Yeah, I just yeah. pulled that. Thank you, because yeah, he, he, he had to come on and you know the higher ups. Yes. I'll Powers that be. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. That that he probably one that text you is like, where's the picture of Velveteen? It's like, <laughs> oh shit, we getting watched by the. I told y'all we on the chopping block. <laughs> we getting looked down on right now. They watched us. Like, share, retweet, all that. <laughs> Visit the columnnetwork.com. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like Michael Cole is a fucking dick, man. Like. I don't like this guy right now. I like I liked him when he was getting slapped around by the Rock <laughs> or or Stone Cold or like I like when Rock was slapping around anybody though. Um, Me too. Corey Graves is overbearing. I you know I want to go back to that. Um, I, I want to mention this. I still move. Raphael, please chime in, sir. Please, I hope you're um, listening still and watching. I, I need you to chime in on this. I I believe what happened with Corey Graves and Booker was real. I, I don't believe that that was a work. I think the company said, hey, y'all got to chill out because this is turning into something. You think that was real? Because I, I was, was I listened to the, the, I listened to, y'all know I listened to Booker T's podcast and he had him on the show. Yeah. I, and now, I, Booker I T is an amazing great. actor. Yeah. I yes. will say that. He well, got, he got some chops. When like, you've been real. working the, the the game 30 years you know how to play it notice how when they got back together like it, mm, it's something it, and then Corey says stuff on twitter like when they went over to um uh, saudi arabia saudi arabia he made some real alt-right comment about you know america being great and women don't, you know and i was like yeah. whoa Corey!" like and that's what made me go you know what I don't think he was faking it. I think that he and Booker really did have some issues. I, I just know he was when um so much superior and smarter than everyone. Look, when Booker T said I'm gonna knock that bouffant to the right, I died. Yes. I was woo. But that yeah. Yeah, and remember a few weeks ago, uh Booker T made a special appearance because Coachman wasn't on. Mm-hmm. And uh uh M- Michael Cole said something. I can't remember exactly yes. what he said. Yes. Corey said something to Michael and Booker was like, "Man, why the hell you gotta be always so overbearing?" And and it was like, oh, like and then the mic's cut got cut. It's like you you can hear the mic just go silent really quick. And I'm like, "What the fuck just happened there?" I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm tr- I'm I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Like it was weird as fuck, but M- Mario he does an amazing job. Him and Percy they let each other talk. They do play by play. There, there, there isn't a heel commentator and a villain and a face comment. They just like fucking wrestling. And, and they're passionate. Like by the end of the show, let me say he's sweating. Yes, like, yes. He looks like Roman Reigns when he walks out by the end of the show. Yes. <laughs> right. Remember, did you said you were the one that sent me that video of how he was reacting at NXT during the ladder match? Oh my he gosh. He was in it. He was yo. He was acting like us if it wasn't for the fact that if we knock this TV over, we're probably going to get fired. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> nevertheless, let's move into your NXT appreciation extravaganza. Yes. Where do you guys want to start at? Who, who's who's your faves out there right now for NXT? What, where you got? Men, women, where are we going? Let, let, let's start out with my favorite right now, uh, the most dominant woman's champion we've seen in wwe 
in a while. The intimidating Shayna Baszler. You know what? I really love to hate her because at first I wasn't buying it. I thought she was corny, but um, she actually grew on me. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Yeah. I. You know what? I'm going to absolutely agree with you there. At first, I was like, uh, you're kind of corny. Mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't think that it was going to translate as well. And I don't know what happened. But let me tell you something. Sister girl <laughs> hit that. Nah, man. She hit she that, that hard right after the Mae Young Classic. Yep, yep. She hit a hard right and ain't looked back, man. The, the, the stuff that she's done with Ember, the stuff that she's done with Kyrie, with every like she has been absolutely breathtaking in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Tell something the story, about that arm promo. stomp. I, I love it. Yes, that arm stomp. That arm stomp. Like what? I thought Ember was about to be out here looking like one of the oblongs for oh. real. <laughs> look, that arm stomp makes me cringe. That's on some Pete Dunn type of type of stuff right there. Yes, it. So after NXT, she hit a good video promo. Or oh, she's like. Yeah, it's a women meeting going on. I don't follow the rules. And she went in there and was like, y'all going to get it? Like, and mm -hmm. when she pulled Amber's name tag down, I was like, oh, shit, you can't teach this shit. Like, little stuff like that. And had the card on deck. Um, yo, I was like, this bitch is serious. Yo, it, it's the intimidation factor where she like, what y'all going to do? Like, anybody, get up, stand up. Like, I was like, she is Debo in the locker room right now. She is Debo in the locker room. And it just made for a better thought of, oh, wow. So mm -hmm. now we're starting to see the how everybody's falling in line with it, where you have some people getting in line with it, where they're seeming more vicious. And then you got other people that's kind of on the fence, where you're like, hmm, what, what's going on here? But it is dope. Mm -hmm. It is dope. Dope. Yeah, so shout out to her. She's doing her thing. So we'll probably be looking at some more really great matches in the future with her. Yes. Uh, I don't think she's going to have a... So right now they got a Bailey 2.0 going on with uh, Dakota Kai. Shut up. I didn't even think about that. She is a Bailey 2.0. Shut up. And I'm like... Yeah, I, 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 I've... I, don't put her versus Shayna right now, fam. Please, please don't. Just make the tag team titles. Give them to her and Bailey, and send them as the the Huggies. Uh, the Huggies. Oh my God. The Huggies. That's, that's a great team. That's the Huggies. Dakota Kai <laughs> and Goddamn Bailey. The Huggies. The Huggies. I, they won't be able to get past uh, copyright. Copyright. <laughs> you gotta bring. Uh, Trezene in here to uh, school you on copyright. It's intense. It's intense. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. It's That's between intense. them and the WWE. That's intense. All right, who y'all got next? So uh, one of my favorite people right now who falling under Baszler is a uh, was it Lacey Evans? Mm. Yes, yes. She now she definitely grew on me because like her um. Well, her outfit to me wasn't that great at first. She looked like a sailor. No, she looked like she was about to be on Sailor Moon. And I didn't like it. Um, I thought it was... Great. Yeah, yeah. It was really on some, some corny type mess. But when she started talking, and she's just like, Shayna's not a lady, but I am. Yes! I was like, oh. What? Oh. I, when I saw her actually jump over the top rope, and come down on somebody's head with, I was like, wait a minute, this gal can yell. Yo, yeah. And when she does like her little corner move where she like kicks her legs up and just hits them with crotch. It's Listen, she reminds me of, uh, y'all, I'm a Street Fighter fan. She reminds me of Cammy from Street Fighter. She is hitting you with all kinds of crazy combos and you just can't counter it. Mm -hmm. And right now what she got going on with, uh, I get our next person, Kyrie Sane, is it's a good fucking rivalry. Mm -hmm. Like this girl can go. I I'm impressed. Color me impressed. I, I'm going for it, man. Mm -hmm. Lacey, she's 
she's gonna be an NXT champion. Definitely. Yeah, I think she's gonna she's gonna touch that strap. Yeah, she's gonna touch. But there's so many good women right now yes. in one championship. It's kind of hard. Like, cause even iconic, they never even got close. Well, they did get close, but not really. And they're just fine. They're they're really just fine. So let's let's talk iconic, cause. They are they are pictures of uh the they they did get called up, you yeah. know, even though it was just recently they just got called up. Correct. But they are what we would see in a women's tag team, right? Yeah. So like if they do make it, so if they do make this supposed women's tag team title, right? Do it go to NXT first? Or do it go to Raw SmackDown first? I would say Raw and SmackDown. There's too many people that it could possibly like work out with. They could do a Sasha Bailey type of thing or Ooh. iconic type of thing. Or um I don't know if the twins ever come back. Uh the twins who? Yeah. Uh, the Bellas. Oh, right. If they ever come back. I forgot all like, that. But look, you know, I think they're doing something with Mickey and and um, um, Alexa, Alexa, like they're 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 meddling around with some combos, and I'm mm. paying attention to it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I see what you guys are doing. Yeah, I see what you guys are doing. Oh, really quick, we have a comment mm-hmm. uh, from VP of Content, yes. uh, Rafael Antonio Martinez says, Booker T as King Booker is Oscar worthy. Yes. And then <laughs> super fan extraordinaire Ray Victory on Facebook. What's going on, Ray? Said Shayna Baszler should be brought to the main roster. Why they wasted money on Ronda Rousey is baffling. Too bad they're not planning a match with Oscar. Listen, we, we, we've said Love. that. We've said that multiple times. Exactly, because my beef is you want these NXT um, um, superstars to be perfect before they come to the roster. You want them to have their their gimmick together, their their look together, their their moves together. Everything has to be together before they can move up. Mm -hmm. And then you have Ronda Rousey, who does not quite have it all together. but, (laughs) But is getting paid the big bucks, doing promos. I, Are they really uh, promos, though? I don't know what that is. I'm still not sold on it. I, ooh, sweater Bob. If if not if she knocks out Nia, <laughs> ooh, I'm be NXT only. Are we talking light skinned Nia that's going on right now? Dark skinned Nia. Uh, All right, guys. Okay, where are we going next? Who's your, um, who's your next NXT performer? Oh, Bianca Belair. Yeah, we, we haven't gotten there yet. Haven't gotten there yet? Are you ready to talk about Bianca? We can. Let's talk Bianca. I love Bianca Belair. She, uh, uh, she's, listen, she's another one. I think the Mae Young Classic was a bigger success than anyone thinks because we got to see a legitimate showcase of these women. And, you know, um, Lacey stood out. Bianca, so mm-hmm. like I've seen Bianca prior to uh, the actual tournament, yes, and mm-hmm. Mark Henry actually put her on. Did he? He found her at a um, way. What do they call? Like CrossFit, I think. Was Not she was CrossFit. CrossFit. Power lifting. Yeah, she was okay. there at some sort of contest for that in Puerto Rico, and he happened to be there, and he seen her. And he was like, "Hey, uh, I'm gonna need you to." Yeah, come but Mark Henry course. just put a lot of people on. There's a lot of people he, because he's the one that supposedly found Braun Strowman. Oh, really? Yeah, supposedly he, he Mark peeped him at a Strowman concert contest. Wow. Okay. Well, so let's hear more about Bianca Blair. Uh, she's really dope. I believe she went to TSU. I believe. Uh, yeah. So she's super smart, super pretty, and she's super strong. Like they just had yes. her suplex in, um, not suplex, but they had her like. Lifting up some girl, she did a squat with it and then threw it. Yeah, she when she does that squat, it's embarrassing. Like yeah, she is embarrassing. Like, I'm squatting. With you you a baby? <laughs> Listen, she is like I don't think we've seen someone that size, that physique, that gorgeous, those move sets. Like and then listen, the gimmick, the EST, the S. Listen, that's hot, man. Man, that's hot. I love her. the she next Jacqueline. Ooh, ooh, that, hey. 
at me. No, seriously, at her, because that was a good damn thing. I, I got nothing to say. And I love Jacqueline too. Yeah, Jacqueline was the. I Jacqueline was cool to me. My girl, y'all know who my girl was. Jazz. Yes. Jazz. If you don't know about Jazz, you better watch you some classic ECW matches. They do not mention her at all. At but like when all. somebody I had like read something, her name came up. I was like, wow, yes, like I remember her. Jazz was. She retweeted us once. Really? She retweeted FCN too. Somebody screenshot nice, Jazz. That. She she did. Jazz. Retweeted. That's so dope. All right. Uh, anything else for Bianca? Uh, she's just dope. She's- Congratulations on soon to be. Yeah, the congratulations wedding. on the wedding. Their uh, WrestleMania uh, in the oh, women. The women's, and that was just so, such a standout moment when how she stood in the middle. She stood out even with that moment of all the NXT women beating SmackDown women and Raw women, and her standing in the middle with her hair just swinging. I'm like, put her on the roster, fam. Put her on the rock. What are like, we waiting for? Yeah, I, I don't Maybe know. she don't want to go. I, hey, I wouldn't want to go either. Maybe. I don't want to get lost in the sauce. Mm-hmm. Of main roster. Now. Main roster sauce. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, Nikki. Oh, Cross. Yes. So she's now a singles competitor. Officially. I mean, she always was, but she wasn't. Like, I really liked her in, um... Sanity. yes yes i like i like the groups with the one female like they stopped doing that and i really thought that uh sanity was gonna they were gonna basically make sanity sort of similar not the same as dx. The, yeah as dx where nikki cross was supposed to be the china like put put a put a uh strap on her put a the UK strap owner, you know what I mean? Like, ooh. Ooh, ooh. she's it would work. Like, it make would. her go in there. Like, I'm entering the UK tournament. She's like, she's so different. Like, yeah. I've never seen anybody like her. Like, she's just completely nuts, and it works. She remind uh, what was that? Uh, you remember that little girl in uh, oh lord, what is it? Nightmare on Elm Street 2. I don't do scary. Nightmare on Elm Street 2? When they was actually one of the the one that was jumping the rope. Oh my god. You, nobody paid attention to the little girls. You said Nikki Cross looks like one of those I think girls. she's one of those girls. That I, is so obscure that you, you've narrowed down the look of one of the Elm Street girls that sings the Freddy Krueger nursery rhyme that I'm sure in each film they change girls in each film there's a different set of little girls <laughs> See, you're making you're making this sound creepy yeah no, you're, no, you're no, no. i don't want it to sound <laughs> God, making... that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying like this dude zeroed in like it's semi kind of like idiot savant impressive huh. shout out to you <laughs> <laughs> i mean i haven't i don't do scary i don't know you could have said any of them no, no, thank Nightmare you. Nightmare on Elm Street Two was my favorite one. No, thank you. Oh my gosh! Listen, Freddy Krueger got an amazing mythology. Like his yeah. mythology is like he's on par with like Batman. The dude has an amazing mythology, except that they changed it from uh, Child Killer because it was originally uh, Child, Child Molester. Yeah. And then they switched it up to Child Killer. Yeah. So Nikki Cross is dope. Nikki Cross is dope. Yes, yes. Uh, and of course, last year's May Young Classic winner, Kyrie Sane. Uh, one thing. I, oh my gosh, I was not into Kyrie. I'm sorry. She came out with the pirate situation. I was like, <laughs> I ain't never seen. She looked like a character off of uh, Final Fantasy. You, you, and the music. How yeah. have I never put that together? Yeah, she looks straight I out of Final Fantasy. Put that but then it makes sense because you know it's you know the culture. Oh, what, what the video game? You know, the culture. Okay, I like the way that you kind of the culture. There. The culture. I I'll video, just leave video, it at that. Video game culture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. It's not an Asian thing, is what you're saying. It's it's the culture. Uh-huh. The and I'll just stay right there. Okay. 
But um, yeah, but then they like tweak their music and then she started yes. doing more stuff. And then I seen her live. Look, she's dope and she's passionate about it. Every after every match, she always bows and says thank you, and she's always so grateful. Mm-hmm. Like, I really like her. One thing I do like about Kyrie saying she's not afraid to take risks in the ring. Uh, on a regular basis, you see her try to do new moves and see how the crowd reacts and see how her opponent reacts. And, you know, that right there shows uh, adaptability. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're you're constantly adapting your game and like, okay, I'm going to throw this in and see what happens with it. If it don't work, we're going to just change it up. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so, yo, Ky- Ky- Kyrie saying, yeah. Do she is she gonna be in the May Young Classic again this year? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know I, how I'm, they're gonna work it. Yeah, like That's, they're gonna do just new people. They have to bring in a good mixture of new performers and performers that are oh, already established. Yeah. So I, I would love to see it again. I would love to see Kyrie saying it again. As a def- mm-hmm. as a, a defending. defending. Oh yeah. Oh. Maybe oh. like her be the final the final. Yeah, like she the, does, she's the final boss. Yeah, she's the final boss. Like the person, like if they're, you know, if they're healthy, they, you know, like they get to skip and they go directly to the finals. So you're really fighting to go up against the winner of last year's. Listen, if they do that, I'm all in. I love, I love when somebody gets to rest and like come see me. Come see me when. I, yeah, yeah, I got you the go All those people, mm-hmm. you're tired, you wore out, yeah, and I'm fresh. <laughs> Liu Kang and uh, Shao Kahn. Oh, I love that. Oh, my gosh. Yo, that's dope. But, man, the the, the women, even the women's storyline in uh, NXT is dope. Uh, it, it's not too much ridiculous promos. Yeah. They video packaging be great. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And Kyrie only says three words, and it's so good. <laughs> really? For real. She got the elbow situation. Uh, yeah. I don't know what, what she calls that. The uh the Zane uh Zane Elbow. Zane Insane. Insane El It's something with her name. Yeah. Mm. But it's nice. And it she gets air. She gets air. She's really tiny, y'all. She, and I, love I don't know if y'all have seen her in person, her, her, but she's Small. Yeah, and she looks small, and her elbow it looks sharp. It looks like a I, harpoon going I love through your chest. Everything she does, man, when she stomps across the ring, yes. and like, like it's you talk about a performer having fun and like giving it all, and like she still has this like little mean streak to her. Like when she starts screaming and she runs across the ring and mm-hmm. kicks the shit out of yeah. you, and then that elbow, her whole body goes up. Like the Nike swoosh. She literally <laughs> looks like the Nike swoosh. And she comes down, crashed on top of you with the elbow. I, when I tell you I love Kyrie saying, I love Kyrie yes. saying. Yes. Agreed. Yep. We got, some, got some comments. Oh, yes. well, dress them. So, uh, super fan Ray Victor says, Bianca Belair is awesome too. Of course. Uh, Bella's come back by SummerSlam. I wouldn't doubt it because they talk so much. Of, there's so many rumors about the tag team, the women's tag team titles. Who better to bring them out than the Bellas? Like they're, I mean, like it or not, they are legends in WWE women's yeah. competition. They, like they started the women's. They are arguably are the ones that started the women's. They're a part of evolution. it. From what I what I've seen, it's probably AJ. AJ. Lee. AJ Lee. Yes. AJ Lee is the start of it. But um, who better to, to to do tag team titles? Like, they probably were like, look, if anybody's going to do these tag team titles, it's going to be us. Because they, they have a little bit of a say. So, oh, I mean, yeah. they got some stroke they, yeah. they got some say. Yeah, it's, they, And then there's still draws, though. Like, yeah. listen, they are draws. Yeah. They are money. The Bellas come back, and, you know, nothing, nothing really gets you over as far as uh, physicality. Is like being in the tag team. So if you're not doing great, you can hide a lot Let of us. age. You can hide a lot of injury. You can hide a lot in the tag team. So mm-hmm. they don't even have to be a one to come back and hold the inaugural women's right. tag team. But it wouldn't be the inaugural because they used to have one. 
I seen that because I was looking it up. Uh, really? Yeah, but yeah. this is like throwback, like when they used to, you 80s. know, when the tag, the women's tag team title was like super dainty and oh, when small uh, Mula had all the control. Yeah. No, this was this was not that. Like I told you guys, you have to look up. Uh, what did Ray Ray had? It. I I always butcher their names, man. Uh, the the Japanese. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bombshells. I know who you talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. I remember us talking was, about I that. I can't remember who they fought. It was one of the best matches I've ever seen in my life. When I was a little kid, and I saw that, and I was like, "Oh my god, the Japanese are far superior to Americans. <laughs> <laughs> they are the greatest wrestlers on the face of the earth." Oh, I want to go to Japan. Like, it's true. They watch that match. Okay. Watch it, and that was for the WWE Women's Tag Championship. Mm. So it was it was out then. Mm. Bring it back. Bring, bring it back. Bring it back. They all, um Ray also. Well, they would be the inaugural WWE. Oh yeah. They would be there the you go. True. Look true. at you being all smart. Let's see. What are your thoughts on a Nikki Cross Shayna Baszler match? Ooh, delicious. The Straight jumping fire. bomb angels were the last tag champions. See? Jumping bomb angels. Um. Oh, and Raphael says the Glamour Girls were the final WWF Women's Champions in 1988. Hmm. The more you know. So Shayna Baszler, Nikki Cross match. <laughs> hmm. I think it that would be a really good match. It'll be a really good match. I just want it to be a I quit match. Oh. Ooh. I think that as as an I quit match. Because they're both crazy and they're both like out of it. And yeah, that's such a good idea. Ooh, Hunter, is. if you're listening, make it happen. Make it happen. Well, hey. You know, uh, guys, it's it's not always up to me. You know, uh, I got a lot of things that, uh, that okay, I'm bullshitting you. <laughs> <laughs> make it happen, Trevor. It's up to me, guys. Paul, <laughs> Paul, stop going with me, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I think that would be like them in a. The, Give them a, uh, give them a I quit match or give them, would that be the first woman I quit match? I don't think so. I feel like there has been one. I cannot remember. I, I think so too. But I feel like it was like in the lead of Trish Stratus era. Mm, I don't know. I don't, I'm not saying those two. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're saying in that in era. That, in that era there. Yeah, I don't know. So. Yeah, so. Give them an I quit match. Let them go wrestle. I think we will be look. We'll we will literally sit there all like. Yeah, I want to say it's Beth Phoenix who did the first. Oh, do the I quit match. I, Beth I, Phoenix is one of the most overrated performers ever. Oh, somebody somebody put his Twitter name up. You want me to put my Twitter? I name? won't. I won't be participating in that. You're People love Beth Phoenix. Why? She's, she's already a hall. Of, she's she's Ed, already in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> like she's Edge's wife. Like Mm-mm. I never bought it. I, listen, Molly Hollywood whoop. Beth yeah. Phoenix. Oh hell yeah. Molly Hollywood break her ass down like a wet cardboard box in the back of the alley, and it's time to go home and clock the fuck out. I'm gonna break down this box. That's how Molly would treat Beth Phoenix. I'm gonna break down this wet ass box, kid. When they hit that uh that uh hardcore family shit going on, and then they brought in like Jamie Noble and all they that. Some haters. Move on to the next one. Cause I'm 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 heated. Who y'all got next? Heavy machinery? What's up? Well, yeah, let's talk some tag teams. Yes, tag team. So, um, currently in the main roster, they're not, they haven't really been doing the tag teams right. I mean, you have the Bludgeon Brothers knocking over toys. So, and... you're, you're, you're saying <laughs> they haven't been doing them right. They've been doing them all wrong. Glo- you see how I try to be kind of nice? And... It's completely wrong. I don't even know. I forgot that the Bludgeon Brothers were the tag champions. I forgot. They were the tag champions. The Usos never let let me forget. I never forgot either. Okay. Okay, okay thirsty. Thirsty. Somebody get us water. Please. Ice water. <laughs> <laughs> Ice water. She need a cold. Cold, cold drink. Cold drink. Cold drink. <laughs> cold drink. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Beehive gonna come for me. 
try to. Oh, and I won't participate. In that. Yeah, you ain't participating. That. Listen, you gonna have to be down for the calls. Heavy uh, machinery is hey, down for the calls. At me for the Ronda Rousey hate all day long. The rest of the foolery, <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. But anywho, <laughs> I quit. They just, <laughs> they just um, yeah, I love the Usos. They did so good. He was talking about heavy machinery. You get off the. Of- Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Heavy machinery. So I really like them. And I've never seen like a big dude do the Scotty Too Hottie joint. That no, no. Look. That, 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 I hate that. Fa- He's doing the centipede. Nigga, that's the worm. You can't. Who call it? It's been the worm, the worm since the 1980s. People, call it, the people call it the centipede? They call it the centipede. I'm like, got your cousin. The worm. Like, you know, gentrification. Oh. They, 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 you don't let us have anything. You can't have a worm. It's a goddamn worm. It's in the dirt. You can't even have that. He does the worm and flops up into a butterfly <laughs> to splash down. Like, what the fuck is you? But yes, heavy machinery is dope. I like, I like them. Yes, yes. I, I was, uh, you know, it was really weird because it was you had heavy machinery, and then you have uh, now they're going by the War Raiders, but they were called War Machine. Mm. And I was sitting there like, wait a second, ain't y'all the same person? For the longest, I'm something going on here. And then when they were on TV at the same time, I'm like, oh shit, they not the same people. <laughs> yeah, they are not the same. Um... But the the them uh, being to, in the what am I trying to say? Them trying to be in the ring together. That's gonna be a nice little rivalry rivalry situation. Yes. They and they can throw down. They can wrestle. Like these are some big fucking guys, and they are wrestling the hell out of these fucking matches. I'm, I'm like, dude, I don't want to see Brock and Roman no more. I don't care about the big guys unless it's NXT tag teams, baby. This is what I'm here for. And and you know what was crazy? War Raiders made a they debut. Now yeah, War Raiders made their debut squashing War Machine. No, not War Machine. Heavy Machinery. See see what I mean? This is getting confusing. And uh what's the guy uh uh you know their names. Uh T T Oh Tino Sabatelli. Sabatelli and uh Moss, Riddick Moss. Those are the two most generic 2k characters brought to life by the triple h was like yeah so we need some mo caps for <laughs> this game hey hey you you want a job yeah what i gotta do just come do some moves and while they was in the ring doing the mo caps he was like you want a contract <laughs> for real yeah uh, you look good tino has been struggling for the longest like uh, he's been in NXT since 2015, I believe. Really? What? And yeah, I watched um, uh, something on WWE Network. I'll be watching where they go in the background scene yeah. and all that stuff. He's been doing like house shows since 2015. Like he was struggling for the longest. I thought they were never gonna put him on TV because he was just like fucking up. Just like they go in the back and be like, "Hey, you're gonna fucking hurt somebody." <laughs> he's, like, he's a fucking ex football. You the one that told he's a fucking ex football player. Like, what do we expect from these big guys? Because you know they like look. Vince, Vince has a hard on, on for waspy white boys with with great bodies. And I mean, look, look what he tried. Look, what was his name, man? Chris Masterson. Do you the master? Do you remember <laughs> that big meathead? He was a fucking meathead. And he was, listen, he put over Ultimate Warrior, who had a zero moveset. He has a zero moveset, man. Uh, he has the lowest uh, moveset. Of, we, we need to, we need to <laughs> do a, a top ten list of everybody with limited movesets that have been superstars and or champions. Great so. victory. You got to help us out with that, bro. It it, it, it like the top three will be Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, and Ultimate Warrior. Like, <laughs> we are, choose your order. <laughs> the top three. 
think I think Warrior is number one. Easy. I think Warrior is number one. I think Hogan is number two. Two. I and think Austin, Austin is three. And then we our list is gonna just gonna consist of four through ten. Yeah, this is the real. This is the real. Right, this is the this real is the, yeah, whichever one y'all want to put those three in, do it. Uh, four through ten though. Um, but yeah, like they put on a good match. The, the, see, I, Moss and T- T- no, T- Tino, S- Tino, Sam Batelli, Uh, they haven't figured who they are out yet. Not at all. Cause and, he started off as um solo, mm-hmm. and then they was like, okay, let's put him with somebody. Mm-hmm. So that's when they got better. Cause he was supposed to be like this bougie rich like i don't need you type of character but it wasn't really doing anything so now he's tag teaming so you had an idea earlier um hunter i hope you're listening to this put her name up i want this credit to go to her oh i'm nervous uh you was talking about pairing uh those two with the one percenter Oh, yes. So much fun. Because they're going to both be rich and bougie and fight together. Yeah, EC3. Like, even though he seems like the type to be like, uh, I'm a solo act. Yes, he does. But if you, so if you hit those three together, right? And you make it where they're, they're a group, but they hate each other, but they work together. Like, I'm the top one. Like, a bunch of blue. Yes, blue blood. Blue blood. Rich in a frat and jockeying for position yeah. uh, like uh american psycho like make it oh, make it uh, american psycho is tight group but you know what's funny how come vince vince makes fun of everybody else right mm-hmm. he makes fun of black he makes fun of latinos he makes fun of the italians he made fun of hillbillies gay people gay people how come he hasn't truthfully truthfully made fun of the top one percent like million dollar man wasn't it that was just a gem- generic gimmick that we mm-hmm. got. but like how come you don't really make fun of like the trump supporters these people like why don't you go after your own base and make fun of them and so like doing like these kind of bigoted guys who are like I'm not wrestling him get out of here maybe he should go back to his country like saying stuff like that yes listen you want to talk about getting heat, heat. Oh my God! So, but here's the thing: that is no longer heat. That's just straight fire. But that's what's funny about it. you. Gonna have people that fucking cheer them, and that's when the crowd fights are gonna start breaking out. You cheering this <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> okay, I, can see that. I think this kind of knows what he's doing with this. With that, you right? That's playing with fire. Mm. But pairing those two with EC3 would be good. I mm-hmm. mean. EC3, what he's doing right now um, with this whole I'm the top 1%, especially coming over for TNA, uh, he got a darker tan. I noticed it. <laughs> I noticed that you're not pale no more, sir. Oh, um, he was pale? He was pale as hell over at TNA. This man is a golden bronze. Yeah. 24. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker. He looks like a, a, a bronze medal. Yes. Now he does. Uh he looks like he actually looked like the refresh light bulb over in T and TNA, like the LED refresh light bulb. That's what he looked like. Very, very white. And uh, having them come over top one percent, pair them two. To, y'all, that would be a good. That'll be a good group to go against uh, the champs right now. Uh, Undisputed Era. Ooh, that'd be good. Speaking of Undisputed Era. Mm-hmm. They are money, dollars, cash, everything. Like, Undisputed Era is just taking over. So, uh, we talked about their heel heat. They're supposed to have heel heat. People love these guys. They have that that Shinsuke heel heat where people still cheer, but, you know, he's still like a bad guy, you know? They have that type of of thing going on. Adam Cole, pff, hot damn. Baby. Like, Adam Cole is just, he's racking it up. Like, I'm surprised they let um, uh, Strong hold the strap because mm-hmm. technically, I mean, uh, 
And then they, I don't, what's old dude's name that's injured? Uh, Bobby Fish. Yeah, they won't let him touch it for nothing. So here's here's the thing. I think I don't I don't know how to say this because I don't want to be an asshole. But honestly, they need something like Undisputed Era on. Like they were gonna put together the club, right? And they just couldn't figure out how to do it. And Undisputed Era is what they should have did with the club. You know, uh, I re- uh, I remember hitting up the Revolution and was like, Adam Cole joined the Bullet Club. He's like, who? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Adam Cole. Who? And I'm like, are you st-? like? And I keep so my dumb self keeps texting him Adam Cole for like ten minutes, and he keeps you know, he's like, he finally calls me. He's like, I know who Adam Cole is. I'm saying it just to bust your balls. I don't care. <laughs> like. He does not. He did not like Adam Cole, and I don't believe he still does. Uh, it's still not buying in. I, you know, here's the thing. I don't. It to me, he is teetering on why I did not like Shawn Michaels, right? Okay. Because Shawn Michaels was a warmed over Ric Flair. Like he stole so much of Ric Flair's in ring stuff the flopping like getting hit and then getting dizzy and then falling forward then going over the top rope when a big man hits you hard like he just did the, the figure four he just was you know coming out instead of robes he had flashy like everything he did the blonde hair he was rick flair mm-hmm. and i was like well if i want rick flair i'll go to rick flair i don't need wwe's version of rick flair which is this 175-pound grovel voice. You know, I'm like, why does he have the big man's voice and he's like six feet <laughs> tall? I used to always hate that. But anyway, Adam Cole was like knockoff Jericho to me. Mm. Like he was just like really Jericho-esque. And I was like, he, he hasn't broken away from his inspiration because you can be inspired. There are a lot of people that are inspired and then they kind of do their own thing. And I just haven't haven't seen Adam Cole turn the corner for me, just for me. I don't I don't stop anybody from liking him because I can understand why. Mm-hmm. He's he's pretty good in the ring. The people love him, and he's yeah. supp- they're they're the perfect um, example of how you can have a singles run in a group. Yes, yes. You can have a singles run in a group, and they just don't do that on the main roster. Yeah. New day, uh, please. So uh. We had a, a, a couple comments. We had a great a great bunch of comments. So we're going to go all the way back. Ray Victory said, AOP should be feuding with the deleters of the world already. Mm. Ooh, fun. I, fun. That would be, I would like that. I, I would like that. I would like it, but to, to an extent. So I think they should, because if we, if AOP goes at the deleter of worlds, they get the titles. You know, I think they get the titles. Flat no, out. I don't. I think, look, man, you're dealing with crazy and savvy in ring, and and AOP would just want to run through you, and and these guys are savvy and they're crazy. So it's like, mm. it's, it's kind of like you want to know what it is to take it to comic book lore. It's like Superman fighting someone with magic. Mm. Superman mm. cannot defeat magic. He has no answer for magic, and I think that AOP versus the leaders of worlds would be like. Superman fighting magic. Mm. Then he has to figure out something else to overcome. Did you see Bray hit that back bend? And they like, yeah, they're like, whoa, what is this? What I'm not f- ready for this. Right. So I that's that's my take on it. Okay. Uh Raphael, VP of content of FCN says, Warrior Hogan, The Rock, are the I basically think he's saying are the holy trinity of limited move sets. You shut well, your mouth. The Rock. The Rock has moves, brother. The Rock had moves. The Rock had moves, brother. Yeah. He nah. He had moves. You, you, you had- Austin, please. Now, y'all always talk about the ringmaster and all that. Sure. But later on, when he became the, the, the rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. The bionic redneck, he had stomp a mud hole, Luthez. Stunner. And then cuss you out at the end. And cuss you out. Lay down the floor. You son of a bitch. Throw me a beer. You goddamn, let me tell you something. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold 
said so. Mm-hmm. That's my, that's my Steve Austin. And then he says, wasn't JBL that one percent heel? That is a good point. That's a that's a that is a valid. good valid. point. Cause back in the day, they used to have people come out with cars. Don't nobody come out with a car no more. Is that like illegal? Like did they? So no. they they had. But JBL. he used to come out in the in the limo with the with the the horns yeah. on the front, and he come out with his hat just waving. And he was in a rivalry versus uh, Eddie Guerrero, who came out. And low riders. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that that was amazing. I love that. He brought out the low riders. And yeah. He, that was fun. Ray Victory said Adam Cole is the next Shawn Michaels. Mm-hmm. I could I could I could see that. I, I could definitely see that. With an edge. With more of an edge. Uh Kiana Cosby. Uh I can't remember if she's ever watched the program, but she says, What up, FCN? What hey. Up? hey Kiana, thank you for watching. Uh, let's see. Oh, what, what's what's VP of content saying? He's 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 smack talking us now. He said rock moves, rock bottom, Samoa drop, the worst sharp shooter in the business, the people's elbow DDT. Hey, that's more than Spine Buster. That's that's more than Austin. That's, that's more hey, than spine Austin, Buster. bro. Rock, I get it that you're saying it. Hey, it's open up their legs, pop them in the nuts. Hey, that's eight right there, baby. Hey, that's hey, eight Rock, right there. Rock got a move set. He got a move set, baby. <laughs> he had that jumping flying lariat. That's yeah. nine, baby. <laughs> we gonna keep adding the moon, baby. <laughs> oh man, I can't. Um, so what about the UK Championship Tournament? Oh man, you know what I. Don't don't fight me. I did not watch last year, but I'm excited for this year. Just seeing the matches that I've seen on NXT. Yeah, yeah. I will say this: the way that they're trickling in the competitors into the NXT roster, so smart. It's smart because now you're making us more excited because now we're seeing these. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't watch UK. You, anybody that knows me knows I'm an IWGP fan. I'm going uh, Ring of Honor or uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling mm-hmm. all day. So I can't say that I watch uh, the. I, I I don't know what's the name. Clown Wrestling, uh, Insane Wrestling. I I don't know. I know what it's, it's similar, but I don't know it. And um, so when you're saying these guys' name, it's like, okay, am I supposed to be excited about this? That does nothing for me. And now that you're showing us them on NXT, and, and I'm sitting there like, whoa, this dude can go? Okay. And now, oh, he's in the UK tournament. I want to sit, because then you start getting these uh, dream match pairings where you've seen this guy over here, and you've seen this guy over here, and they're all going after the guy, Pete Dunn. Yeah, can we just talk about how epic Pete Dunn has been? Oh, man. He- He's a hell of a worker. He's a hell of a worker. And the he puts everybody over by not doing anything. That's that like he lets them talk, gives them the look like Okay. And and walks off on you sitting there like, oh, he just Pete just gave him a nod. That means he on Pete Radar now. I you know, I wanna say this. That is a great, great commentary about Pete. I want to say why that I want to add a little bit more to that. He puts you over by making you look amazing and kicking your ass. Like he he kicks your ass, but in that ass kicking, you There's you still lights. look good. Like there are some spots where you get to shine at, and then it's like, man, you you took Pete Dunn to a couple places and and he beats you. Like that's not, it's not a it's not a you thing. It's a it's a power thing. Like Pete's just better. Mm-hmm. Bruise away. Yeah, he's just the bruise away. I I love him. He's got it all figured out. Yes. Everything. The hair, the face, the clothes, the fur. The listen. I <laughs> love him. I the love way him. he holds the, the title. Belt, yeah, belt. coming it's, out with I, the... he has it all figured out. I haven't seen a guy this rent to go. In, Who's a guy that you've seen that just really had it all figured out? Like, like who's a who's a vet that you, you know, like, that when they came in, like, man, this dude really has it figured out. I'd say the first person that comes to mind for me is Jericho. 
Like yeah. Jericho just always seemed like, man, this kid really has. When I saw him in WCW, I was like, man, he got it figured out. Uh, it would just for me, it'd just be Oscar. Oh, Oscar, yes. yes, 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 yes. Believe it, believe it or not, for me, Lance Storm. Lance Storm, he seemed like yeah, I I can I can give you that. Like yeah. Lance, he had it all figured out for himself. Yeah, like, it's like he knew where he wanted to go, and yeah, you know, he always stayed in his lane. That's one thing yeah. I loved about Lance. I love it, Lance was one of my favorite workers of all time. Raphael says on Facebook, question: Should the UK title be an NXT title, a main roster title, or should it operate as its own entity? That can appear anywhere. Pay-per-view oh, oh. for any go the three brands. So I like the last option, but I know that they're not gonna do that. Yeah. Like that's that's the that's the messed up part is that I would love to just see the, the title pop up either on NXT or on the main roster, but they just won't cross that line yet. So I, I like where you're going. I'm, I'm. Thank you for asking this question because mm-hmm. I've been playing with this. I've been playing with this thought in my mind. That I was gonna run it past y'all, but since we on the air, fuck it, might as well, right? So you paid nine ninety nine for this uh, WWE Network, right? We, yeah, we, you people did. Clearly, you people. I, are you teetering that that line, or what do you mean by you people, sir? suckers i uh i got you okay i can't uh, argue with that one um i actually played 99 cent for three months and then i'm gonna recancel next <laughs> uh but uk championship uk championship let's start talking right nxt takeovers are the pay-per-views right let's move 205 live to the nxt takeover right let's add a woman only show with women wrestlers yo this totally crossed my mind right and then and then the takeovers become about those titles the nxt the nxt titles the 205 live titles and the women's titles for all the wwe networks then you get a long, because we only get, what, three hours out of the NXT? Yeah. We could get four or five hours now, right? Uh, I, you know, I, I hear you. But, but now you got to think of the, uh, what is it, the North Atlantic champion? North, Atl- North, North America. North America title. You have the NXT title. So I think if you brought the, the UK title there, that legitimate, and, and the women, that's four titles. I right. think that that's a lot of titles. I think the UK title... I think I like where Raphael was going. I think that it should be not an NXT only, but it should always show up on NXT. And I think that they should have matches for it in big pay-per-views, like Night of Champions, um, Survivor Series, stuff like that, like where you're you know, showcasing straps. Night, Night of Champions. Yeah. So if we have a Night of Champions, we have the Intercontinental Championship. Intercontinental Champion versus the United States Champion versus the North American Champion versus the UK Champion to be the un like a global champion like you get the global <laughs> trophy like like uh, I, that'll I, be fun it'll be fun I think that no it it makes sense you know I I think it makes sense uh we don't get a lot of champion versus champion matches anymore and I think that remember. Uh, who had the European and the Intercontinental at the same time? He had that long run with both of them. Who had both of those? I know D-Lo. D-Lo? Was it D-Lo? D-Lo messed around. I want to say D-Lo, but he didn't have a a, a real long reign with it, but he's touched the IC a couple times. But I know he had... Was it Mankind? Mankind. I don't... No, I don't ever think he had two straps at once. I know X Pac had a run with, with the European, European yep. title. That was a good run. He too. had a run with it. Then he had the run with the light heavyweight. So, uh, oh, uh, Raphael says WWE Ladies Night booked by Vince Russo. It's gonna be sexy, bro. <laughs> he said, 
Hashtag trolling. So I hope so. <laughs> uh, right. Anything else you guys want to say uh, before we close out the show here? Um, I kind of just want to take a look at some people who just moved up. Oh, okay. Uh, see what you think about their their future on the main roster. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Amber. She's championship. Like she'll have the strap. I ain't gonna say in the next six months, but I would probably say in the next eight. I'm definitely ready for Ember versus Asuka part two. Ooh. Bring it. So I do, want it. Do they go against each other at Survivor Series? Possibly. I, I, I don't know. On Raw. I mean, now it don't matter. We, we don't have to wait for, for that. Yeah, yeah, but I think we should, though. I think, yeah. you know, I think we let that cook for a while. Oh, because yeah. Because the Carmella and Asuka could be a thing for a minute. Then, you know, Ember versus her, like, listen, they're going to burn the house down. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you have a ready-made trilogy. You have a ready-made trilogy that's mm-hmm. going to be easily three parts of absolute insanity. It's, mm-hmm. it's going to be amazing. So, that's a great one. Uh, Asuka, uh, No Way Jose, um, welcome to the obituaries. No Way Jose. Yes Way. He's very, he's, he's... Well, they're showing him a lot, though. Ten. They, they are showing... They are showing him way more than they show your boy, the perfect ten. Yeah, Ty Dillinger. Yeah, they, they are. Listen, they like No Way Jose. He, he's probably a hard worker behind yeah, the scenes. I, I believe so. He's great in he the can, ring. He's, yeah, he, he's a good looking guy. Mm-hmm. He has a great. Okay. <laughs> go, go ahead. Get, get, your, get all your. No, stuff. I'm done. I'm done. I just I simply agreed. I go ahead. You think I, it looks like he's gonna end up with Titus worldwide? Because every time he comes out there, that, out there, Dana Brooks they, they and her chest all moving all over the place and them heels. Listen, Dana is cold. I I don't I don't normally uh, dip all into the the Alrighty. going skin, <laughs> but uh, I don't hit the slopes. But uh, when I do, no, she's very pretty. She's 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 got something going. Now the the prettiest bunny out there. To me, it's that that page. Let me tell you something. Yes, that pale, pasty Back to porcelain. NXT. Those big lips. Back that husky voice. Okay. Oh, oh, I was gonna say that? Mandy. That's who I was gonna. Mandy. 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 She is gorgeous. She ooh. took me. She's on her way. I, ooh, I feel like I'm gonna get fault. Do she, it. She's on. She's on her way to being the next Trish. To me, she's the next Trish Stratus. Trish ain't Trish ain't Trish Stratus to me. So I'd be like, what? Y'all, y'all over. Trish and Lita Look, are so overrated, man. At the time, it was epic. No. You it just wasn't. never seen women doing yes, none of that. I did. I've seen, I'm telling you, he's seen 1988. I'm trying, <laughs> to, tell you, man. I'm trying uh, to tell you. Lita and had stiff ass Lita Karana. That stiff ass <laughs> moose. Like it was just it like was she was called the leader Karana, wasn't it? Yes, and uh, she would just throw herself off the top rope. So was, I liked Lita with I, S.A. Rios better. Yes, I liked her with S.A. Rios when better. When she was with S.A. Rios, she was cold. I was like, she was colder with S.A. Rios, yes, man. She was cold. And they did not do S.A. Rios. They right. did him dirty. S.A. Rios could have been Rey Mysterio. Before Rey Mysterio got to WWE. Yeah. S.A. Rios was cold, man. Cold. He was cold. Like, he was cold. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else we got? AOP. Um, oh, AOP. They need to do something. Please, please don't drop the ball with them. Please. Y'all already gave the manager the boot. Yeah. They've already dropped the ball with them. Uh, I mean, y'all got them over there squashing Rhino and Keith Slater every week. I don't know, he got like, kids. I don't know what y'all want people to do. Like, sure, it's a loaded roster of superstars. It is absolutely loaded with superstars. It's, and I think that's the problem. That it's so many superstars that it messes with people's programs. If you have, like, look what happened to Oscar. So you have Charlotte beat Oscar, and then Carmella beat Charlotte. Charlotte. So you're telling me that Carmella can beat Oscar? Oscar? No, you can't. Like, it's. I think we should go back to getting a bunch of jobbers in there, calling up a bunch of guys you got in performance center mm. to job, you know, and then get other story like figure out a better way to tell stories to have people meet up 
and not always be in ring week to week mm -hmm. because it, it gets kind of like yeah but you're wasting and that's why NXT matches. that's why NXT is important that's why uh, we've said it you know when you have like how uh, Pete Dunne got traded on by Roderick Strong mm -hmm. and then it took three weeks for for Pete to actually get back to going at the Roderick it was like okay I've been waiting for this you know when you're constantly throwing that at us we're like okay whatever um, um iconic is doing their thing yes. oh they are so yes. good i just love how rude they are they yeah. are so disrespectful and they, i love it they are they are teetering like i i would have been here one of my cousins slapped the hell out of them <laughs> real <laughs> life like all right man y'all y'all get a fist they, but I, I get what you're saying. They, it, 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 it's really like I'd be offended. Like, yo, ouch! It. Did you see how they were saying last week? They were saying that stuff to Charlotte, and Charlotte just couldn't help laughing. Like she was like, oh, "This is funny." Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. No. I. They already made. They already made. Yeah. They. They're. They're. They're ready to go. They. Yeah. They package it up. They're ready to go. You know. I, Whew, they're good. Who else? Andrade. Um, Listen. Finally. Oh my. Yes. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> I want. So here. So I want. I'm not at Lana is finally back, right? I want Lana and Rusev to go against. Why am I not this smart? Like. That's so smart. That's gonna, if you put Almas and Rusev versus with and Lana and uh, Z Zelina, Z Vega. Zelina Vega, all it, that's a, just listen, yo, that's a group of disrespectful. Oh, listen, my, that's three parters. I, I will watch that three times. I would, I would not be bored. I, I like trilogies. Like you, you want to, If you're in fight business, you want yeah. to have trilogies. Hey. Rocky three. You want to have, you know, that first fight, that second fight, and then the, the the definitive fight for it all. Especially if it's one one, you got to go to a trilogy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know? I think, uh, uh, man, if they if that would WWE, be great booking, bro. Yo, if 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 they keep Rusev on, you know, because you know he's been complaining about his booking, supposedly. Yeah, I thought he was gonna get the boot. Like I thought oh. he's about to get fired on his day off. Like. <laughs> Pink slip. They go. They go do them like they did us. Uh, see them pump. Ooh, that was rough. But um, yeah, yeah, that would be a good. I didn't even think about that. I yo, that's good book. I I am so happy he find he finally made his debut uh yesterday with Zelina. With Zelina. Please don't separate them. Nice. Man, she is the female Paul Heyman. She is the woman Paul Heyman. You cannot stop her, nah. and she can go she can in the go. ring. She can go. Like, I love everything about her. Yeah, I love everything about she her. She got a better her Karana than Lita. Show, <laughs> show because you don't know why. She's a Latina. She grew up doing lucha libre style of wrestling. Yeah. Everywhere she been, she been a champion. Yep. Um. Uh, Sanity. Have they appeared? They, they haven't. They have not made their appearance yet. I needed to have. So, since we ain't seen the tag team straps in a minute, they, they, I want uh, the Bludgeon Brothers to come out talking all that, doing their little bad promo and just have Sanity pop up on the mic. Y'all crazy? We crazy. Like, yeah. That'll, that'll get be it good. in. That'll be good. I would love to see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that'll be mm -hmm. fun. Just uh, a couple comments real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Ray Victory said something that somebody's going to have to fact check this. I don't know about this one. He said, just read that EC3 will face John Cena at next WrestleMania. What? Uh, he said, uh, Raphael says, uh, the iconic best accents in the business. He also gave us information. It was Kurt Angle with the Euro and Intercontinental Championship. It was Kurt I Angle. I knew it. It man. was Kurt Angle, man. Kurt Angle, listen. Kurt Angle had one of the best, like, debut years. And I've ever seen. It, that's another guy. That's another guy. When he came in, you got God. Damn, I this, he get it. He had. It was Kurt Angle. It was like, Kurt Angle. Yeah. He got it all figured out. Like he had it mm -hmm. all oh, yep. figured out. Even that corniness. 
the three eyes. Like, and, it had <laughs> and everybody look. booed him. Everybody and... booed him because he was so corny. But, but he was funny. He like, was funny, man. Man. I have to go and watch some early Kurt Angle. Um, then let's see. Rusev is on his way out. So putting over Almas would be good for all parties. Zelina Vegas is from Queens. NYC represent. Mm, gotcha. Hey. Baby, baby. Listen, I'm down for whatever she down for. Like, she's like, I just need a fan to follow us on the road. No pay. Uh, maybe not no pay. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah. All right. Any outros, guys? <sighs> but up, but, 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 but. Such a great episode of just we, we, we talking to about talk, NXT. We like, have to talk more NXT. You're right. Yes. It, thank you. It, it's so hard to do our segments with NXT, though, because I I think we also have, still have in mind that technically it's still developmental. You know, people are still adjusting to uh, the WWE-ish style. And... Uh, we don't have those situations where we're sitting there like, oh, they botched that. Like, if you're on the main roster, botches should be at a minimum. Look, it's been botched. Whew, botched city all over the place. Oh, my city. God. On the main Bot roster. City, bitch. <laughs> Listen, man. Uh, uh, the greatest uh, Royal Rumble ever was botch Bot city. Oh, man. It was debauchery. I'm, I'm glad Roman still has his neck. Like, honestly Ooh. and truly. Yeah. I was like, dang. Yeah, that was scary. I was like, it's over, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's over now. Yeah. Um, but the they're hard workers, you know. NXT is full of hard workers. Triple H has he he has he has the golden goose for what he's doing mm -hmm. over there because he's not only is he uh, pulling talent from all around the world. He's giving them the contracts that they want, where they're happy, where they at. And uh, we've had this conversation plenty of times. This is the third show, you know, this is the third show. And in all actuality, this is the A show of the WWE Network. Yeah, if you yeah. think about it, yeah, it is. this it is. is the A show of the WWE Network. How do you think the um, the main roster folks like The Miz or anything like that think about NXT being better than them? So, if I was main roster, I can't say what they... If I was main roster, I would be under pressure. You know? I would be under pressure because it was you would sit there like, oh man, if I don't step it up, you know, this person going to... Look how many people that we've seen perform at NXT that hasn't did the same thing. Bo Dallas was an NXT champion. Hey, I really like Bo Leave. I, <laughs> I was with it. And when he got to the main roster, scrubbed under. You know, uh, but then you have people like Sami Zayn, who's really in all actuality is probably underrated. I believe Sami Zayn should have hit a strap a long time ago. But here we go. Here we go. Okay. You're supposed to be wrapping it up, not continuing more conversation. It's just so much to talk it's about. So much to talk uh, about. Well, that's why we, you guys have a whole show next week. Uh, well, we will come back to more comments because I'm sure we left out a bunch of other people. Uh, maybe we'll come back to solo acts that we really enjoy, best matches, so on and so forth. Yep. So Because uh, I haven't even scratched the service with my fave. Haven't. I haven't. Um, make sure you follow us on Twitter. I'm Hulk A. Tone. And I'm T-Shack Talks. Um, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for Prime News at 7-ish, uh, where the, we'll be talking all the news for you guys. It's for you. It's a gift. And uh, then we'll have True Baller Thursday, the finals edition, with uh, the Reggie Mathis, J. Co. is it. And they're our FCN2 family. Uh, be sure to go check out all our stuff on demand at the fifth column network dot com uh, where you can watch it in any order that you want. You can watch the wrestling shows. You can watch the basketball shows. You can watch the news shows. You can watch shows only featuring me. Yeah. yeah. You can watch shows only featuring her. I don't think those are up yet. Really? Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure we update on a regular basis. 
unlike other websites that don't. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. This has been the Woo Show. Wait, did, did you woo today? Charlotte Fair, Flair has done enough woos during that set today for all of us. That's because she she got her teeth kicked out and then she had to get her breast cut down. Like, she's what? All right, y'all have a good one.